Back in the Weather Center for Chief, with Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Perez. Jennifer, you've been watching the storm that's moving into the area as we speak. Yeah, so we are going to notice that we're going to have a big warm up ahead of it as it moves in today, and then some strong and damaging winds will occur tonight through tomorrow morning. Winds will gust in excess of 60 miles per hour. That is possible. And as far as precipitation with the system, we'll initially have some light scattered rain showers and then some rain showers tonight with a front followed by some snow in the northwest once it clears out tomorrow. However, the biggest hazard is going to be the wind. A high wind warning will be in effect for almost the entire UP tonight through tomorrow. Those are highlighted in this kind of brown shaded color. Uh, those highlighted right along Lake Michigan and the green, those are lakeshore flood warnings that uh, will be in effect throughout that time period. Winds will gust out of the southwest overnight in excess of 50 miles per hour. Could even see higher than 60 mile per hour wind gusts over into the Keweenaw. The peak wind gusts look to be early tomorrow morning, but it will still be a windy day regardless, even when those warnings expire. So a moderate high risk for all these categories. High profile vehicles will have an issue traveling. Widespread power outages will be possible. Down trees and branches certainly will be possible. And some lakeshore flooding due to the large waves along with some beach erosion. With that being said, if you encounter a down power line, stay 30 feet away from it. Do not touch it and do not attempt to a drive over it or b move it on your own call your local utility company so they can handle that this morning patchy to areas of fog out there right now along with some isolated rain showers some rain in the northern sections of wisconsin ahead of that area of low pressure and as far as the severe weather threat through tomorrow, it'll be highest over in parts of Iowa. They have a level for a moderate risk for some severe thunderstorms as that system moves in. We're just at a level one, a marginal risk along the Wisconsin state line. And the biggest risk with those thunderstorms as they roll in tonight will be the damaging winds that I've been talking about. Here we go for your afternoon. Some scattered rain showers develop, and this is right along the front where we could potentially have some thunderstorms uh, move through in more of a squall line fashion from west to east. This is after about midnight, one o'clock in the morning, but it quickly moves through by tomorrow morning. At least the rain showers will be over and done with, but the winds will still be ongoing. A little light snow will develop over into the Keweenaw as well. Temperatures ahead of the system will trend in the 40s this afternoon. Look for 50s around midnight, so we keep warming up, and then tomorrow afternoon we'll see the drop off 20s to the west and 30s across the East. Let us know how strong those winds ended up gusting at your uh, place property. Um, let us know. Just go to our website, fill out the storm reports form for us so we can find out. Once it clears out, we're in a bit of a cooler trend. 20s for highs into the weekend. Saturday, it looks like we have a weak disturbance moving through, and that would bring in some very light scattered snow showers. Brighten up your morning with a Christmas light display. Tia is heading to one of the biggest in the market.